Hello and welcome to my third Java programming tutorial for beginners. I'm Saigai1121 and let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I have the code from my last episode. If you have not seen that tutorial, I would recommend watching that because I explain some of the basic parts of Java. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to pretty much tell you how to actually get the computer to do something. So this will be your first program. So what I'm going to do first is we don't need this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we're left with this public static void main um, method. And if you don't remember what a method is, it's pretty much a group of code that can be run. It's not a very clear definition. I would recommend going to someone else for that definition. But, um, and for those of you who don't read the, um, the, drawing a blank here. For those of you who don't read the description, I made a mistake, this main should not be capitalized. So I've got that out of the way, and let's get to the meat of the program. So what I'm going to teach you in this episode is as I said, getting your computer to actually do something. More specifically, getting it to print something out on the screen. And printing something out on the screen isn't printing with your printer, it is just putting text on the screen. So what you want to do is system dot out dot print line, print ln, and then put those parentheses you always put parentheses when you're calling a method. You don't need to worry about the system dot out part except that you need to put it for it to display the text. And then you want quotation marks. Whenever you're dealing with actual text, not code or numbers, then you want to put in quotation marks. And then just type in whatever you want. I'm going to say um, I know it's kind of cheesy, but hello world. And then go ahead and finish it off with a semicolon. And whenever you have a line of code like this, you always have to finish it with a semicolon. So that the computer knows that that is the end of the line. It can move on to the next command. So if we go ahead and run this program, uh, hit OK for saving this, and you can see down here it says hello world. And you can put whatever you want in these quotation marks. You can put, hi, my name is computer, and then run it, save it, and it says hi, my name is computer. And you can do whatever you want to in the quotation marks, so long as they are in the quotation marks. Um, that'll be the end of this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.